What's up out there everybody? This is Jay Wilkins 79 doing something different today. I was gonna cook my sunglasses mom's famous chili recipe and I got all the ingredients right here and I'm gonna go ahead and name them off for you. You need some chili O seasoning or any type of uh, chili seasoning. You need a can of chili beans, can be any kind of chili beans. I got the black beans with the mild chili sauce. And some, also some more chili beans. I got the small red ones also in chili sauce. Now you can always add more cans of beans if you want. I was just going to make a little bit today. And you can always add more, add more stuff, whatever you want. I got two cans of tomato sauce. Doesn't matter what brand I got, Hunts. You need some sugar. You need some salt. This is sea salt. Thought that would be better. You need some... Worcester sauce. I don't know how to say that. I hope I got that right. You need some chili powder and some minced onions. Also, it really helps if you have a crock pot. I don't know if you can see it here. If you don't have a crock pot, you can always use a, a big pot. But I like to use the crock pot, and so does Sunglasses Mom. And also, you need probably the most important thing is you need some some hamburger this is ground beef chuck so uh, so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the meat and I'm gonna mix the meat with the minced onions and the chili o seasoning okay right now I'm just chopping up the meat starting out the hamburger here and uh, I'm gonna when the when I, as soon as I drain the fat you need to add the minced onions and the chili o seasoning and I'm gonna come back and show you that after I brown the meat okay I'm almost done draining or excuse me almost done cooking the hamburger get it nice and brown then I'm gonna drain the fat and then I'm gonna show you guys after that to add the next ingredients the onions and the chili o powder alright I just drained the fat and next I'm going to add some onions to it. These are really nice to have around. They're nice and handy. And I'm just going to dump. I don't really measure my stuff. I might measure a few things on this recipe, but the onions I just kind of put in there. So just kind of guesstimate how much you want. And I think that's about good right there. Alright. And now, let's go ahead and add this Chilio seasoning. This really good stuff, just dump that on there really good. Get it all out of there. And you can pick this up at, you know, Walmart, Meyer, wherever. I happened to go to Walmart and got it, so pretty much my go to place to shop. Although I do like Meyer once in a while, you know, but Walmart is just closer. I think I got it all out of there. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and stir this up really good. Actually, I'm going to get a wooden spoon. That would probably work out better for me. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and grab that. And let's just stir this up really good here. Get that cooking nice. And I'm probably going to let it cook for at least 10 more minutes on here on low. Just to kind of get it, give it that flavor. My sunglasses mom told me to really cook it good. And you'll get a lot of good flavoring on the meat. And that's the meat probably the most important part next to like the beans and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this for a while guys and I'll be right back. Alright so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the hamburger meat into the crock pot. Go ahead and get that in there real good. Okay. So I cook the hamburger for an extra 10 minutes or so just to get the flavoring, the flavoring going on. All right. All right. So next, I think I'm going to um, add the war, the Worcester sauce. Work. I don't even know how to say it. Worcester, Worcester, and I'm gonna go ahead and use. You know, I'm not going to measure the Worcester sauce. I'm just going to dump some in here. You know, just as much as you want. 
go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to use quite a bit, although I don't have much hamburger, so that's probably enough right there to get in there. And then next, I'm going to add the beans. And like I said before, you can, if you want more beans, you can add more beans. If you want more hamburger, you can. It just depends how many people you're going to have the chili with. And myself is only, I'm going to be the only one eating this chili. So, uh, well, actually, that's not true. I'm going to, I'm going to let Sunglasses Mom try it and see how she likes it. See if I made it up to par with her standards. And I'm going to dump all the beans in here. The next can, dump it in. All right. Get that in there real good. Next is the tomato sauce. You can add two of these little cans, the Hunt's tomato sauce in here. All right. Get that in there real good. Okay, those are all my cans I was gonna use, so I'm gonna throw the lids away. Now, let's go ahead and add, I'm gonna actually, measure the sugar. I don't want to go overboard with the sugar. So I'm going to go ahead and just put in two tablespoons of sugar. Just two. I don't want to go crazy here. And if the sugar would come out, that'd be great too. Alright, there's one. And... I guess we'll count that as two even though some, out, some spilled out more than that. So. Okay, and the salt, I'm just going to add half a tablespoon of salt. I don't really need that much salt. There's probably already salt in the, in the beans anyway in the tomato sauce. So, um, add a half a tablespoon of salt if I can. Alright, there's that. Okay. Now, chili powder. I got about half a thing left. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it all in there. You know, and you can always use more if you want. It's up to you what you guys want to do. I'm trying to stick with Sunglasses Mom's recipe as close as I can. So, I'm going to be putting this in here for a while. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't use that much. I might stop here in a second. I don't want to make it too spicy. And it, again, it all depends on your taste if you like spicy chili. I like some spicy chili, but not too much. So that's it for that. I think that's all the ingredients that I you have to put in. So let's just go ahead and stir it up real good. Uh, here's the spoon. Get it out of the way. Let's stir it up. All the ingredients together. Uh, like I said, I'm not making that much because this is just for me and my parents. But if you're having like a whole group of people over, you can always uh, put more ingredients in more beans, more hamburger, more whatever you want. Alright, so we're going to stir this for a little while. And also, you know, you guys know this, but chili goes great with cheese and crackers. Although I only have crackers, but that's alright. Trying to cut down on cheese a little bit. Trying to get a little bit of a diet going on. So uh, let's go ahead and put it in the actual crock pot. So we can heat, start heating it up. Let's put that in there. All right, let's get these cans out of the way first. All right. Now just keep stirring for a while, but I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. And like I said, a crock pot will really help you. If you don't have a crock pot, you can always use a, a big pot or something uh, if you just have that. So uh, let's plug this in. It'll go in. Huh. Come on now. There we go. I'm going to set it on high for now. To the high setting. And I'm still going to stir it really good. Alright. Make sure all the ingredients get mixed around really well. All right, and now I'm going to cook this for two hours. So it's 2.30 now. I'll be done in about, about 4.30. And I'm just going to stir periodically. So I hope you guys uh, 
know how to make sunglasses mom's chili now world famous chili thank you so much for watching more videos to come soon more movie reviews and more sunglasses man videos peace everybody out there thank you so much for uh, if you would please like and subscribe if not if you don't subscribe at least you know you're watching the videos and that's that's great too I just want you guys to enjoy it and here's what the chili looks like when you're finished looks pretty good so you just want to um, add some crackers alright and then you're ready to go thank you guys so much for watching the video peace